Hi guys, I have a question. Are you salt sensitive or potassium deficient? So many people are told that they're salt sensitive and they need to avoid sodium, right? Well, guess what? Did you realize that your body needs a thousand milligrams of sodium? And if you're deficient in sodium, here are the symptoms. Headaches, fatigue, lethargy, nausea, weak muscles. Yeah, because sodium is an electrolyte, okay? Now, in your body, sodium and potassium work together, okay? They're, they're, they're kind of a pair of minerals that work together. We need four times as much potassium as we do sodium. So instead of accepting the diagnosis that you need to cut down your salt, try this experiment and see if it doesn't really fix the problem, especially for blood pressure. Raise your potassium. You can keep your, so, your, your sodium at 1,000 milligrams, but raise your potassium to the normal level and see what happens. You're gonna find out that your blood pressure will probably come down and you'll feel a lot better. Uh, but we need a lot of potassium. Now the question is, where do you get potassium? You get it from large amounts of salad. You need to consume between seven and 10 cups of vegetable or salad every single day to get your potassium. Um, not from bananas. Bananas only have 300 milligrams per banana. So you have to have like, 10 or 12 bananas, but I would do it from salad, okay? You can do it, you can enhance it with a supplement as well, but I would recommend you do it from actual food as much as possible. Now, the, an average American consumes 3,700 milligrams of sodium per day. So that's a lot of sodium. And they only consume 1,000 milligrams of potassium. So they have it just reversed. And this is where the problem is. These people are not salt sensitive, they're just potassium deficient. Now, in the 80s, we had this spike of blood pressure and so many people were all of a sudden diagnosed as salt sensitive. And I wanna talk about that for a second because there's something else that had happened in the 80s that probably could have caused this so-called problem, okay? This problem with high blood pressure. It's the introduction of high fructose corn syrup in a major way. High fructose corn syrup is in it pretty much replaced our sugar, not to mention sugar itself. High fructose corn syrup and sugar actually deplete you of potassium and retain sodium. Yeah, that's what I just, let me just say it again. When you consume high fructose corn syrup, which is in all the juices, it's in so many foods, you basically, and the sodas as well, you basically cause the retention of potassium I'm sorry, retention of sodium and the depletion of potassium. So you lose your potassium when you consume sugar or high fructose corn syrup. So that's another cause of, of, of why people are potassium deficient. So we have, they don't get it from the diet, they consume a lot of sugar and then they become potassium deficient but they're retaining the sodium and they get fluid retention. I mean, the amount of people that I used to have come in my office and look at their ankles and they're just swollen, they're puffed out. All I do is I add in the vegetables, I cut out the high fructose corn syrup, I put them on the correct eating plan, and they dump tons of fluid, and it's so easy. Plus, the hidden, in the hidden uh, MSG in the junk foods, monosodium glutamate, uh, modified food starch, the same thing, that is a hidden source of sodium, monosodium, so that you can get a lot of fluid retention too. If you go to a Chinese restaurant, for example, or a fast food place, they had built in there a lot of sodium that's hidden. So again, what we want to do is you want to um, increase your potassium. Don't worry about cutting out your sodium too low or you're going to feel weak and you're going to get a headache. Uh, but just get the junk out of the trunk, so to speak. And let's see how you can do with your numbers, with your blood pressure, and with your health. Thanks for watching. Where am I going with this? Press the subscribe button. I forgot the last part. And I'm going to see you next time. Am I going to? I will press the subscribe button and I will keep you updated on the future events.